So how can you control your iPhone with the broken screen? So let's take a look at this. So you, your phone might have fallen down. It's probably cracked. So what can you do about it is to go to the App Store and get the iPhone Diagnostics app, which is something not many people are familiar with, but there are apps which allow you to basically just check out the functionality of your phone. And I like this app. And when I open it up, I can actually test the screen of my phone because it might happen that your screen is only broken, but it still works to touch. You can test it right here. If you open up the app and click on the digitizer, you basically move your finger across the screen like that to ensure that every single place on the screen reacts to your touch. And if it does, then it just means that the glass is broken and not the actual digitizer. So you can use your phone normally and it doesn't affect the way you would do things. Another thing is the multi-touch. It's also important to test that. So it, the app like gives you the instructions on how to do it. You just touch on one place and then the other and you essentially uh, ensure that it works for you. So if you test it out this way and if it works, you can keep on using your broken phone normally. However, if you do not have such option, I would recommend you to connect some sort of accessory. For example, it might be a mouse or a trackpad, which you can use just as you would with your computer, and you could have control over the options right there. You can use the pointer device and essentially control your phone, even if the digitizer or a touchscreen does not work. So you, you can connect it through a cable or even through Bluetooth, depending on your accessory. But one option you need to have enabled is inside of the accessibility and a touch. The assistive touch has to be turned on for whatever reason to make the mouse or trackpad work. But that way you can connect it and essentially use your phone and access all of the things even without touching the screen at all. So that's going to be about it. Let me know below in the comments if you managed to get it to work or what your current situation is. I'm going to wrap up the video right now. Thanks a lot and I'll catch you later.